A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Assalamu Alaikum My name is Brad Ibrahim and I'm here today to tell you my story about how I converted to Islam. I, would, I first became interested in Islam in college. Um, I went to UW Madison and there were a lot of Muslims on campus and I was always kind of interested because uh, growing up my family is Lutheran and I would go to church and our pastor would talk to the congregation in a very condescending manner and kind of made you feel guilty about going to church and that's not really the point. I wanted to feel good when I came out of church. So I guess I went to college without any religion and I was searching for something to grasp onto and then 9-11 happened and I became more interested because I knew that what the media was saying about Islam was not true. So I wanted to find out for myself exactly all about Islam. So I would do research on the internet and I, I liked the thoughts and the background of Islam and so I was thinking about converting but I never got to the point of converting in college and I ended up moving home to a city called Wausau, Wisconsin. And I had just graduated from college. I knew I was going to take a year off before I went to law school. And I didn't really know what I was going to do. So my dad told me to go volunteer at a place called the Boys and Girls Club. And the Boys and Girls Club is this organization that basically helps kids uh, move off the street and gives them a positive place to come and hang out after school. And I told my dad, I don't, I don't like working with kids. I don't even like kids. Why would I want to go do that? Well, I ended up going, and within the first hour, I absolutely loved it. And so I volunteered there for three months. And then I saw an ad in the paper for the same position in a city called Stevens Point, a city that's a half hour away from Lhasa. So I went there and interviewed with them, and it went really well, and they offered me the job. And so I had two job offers, one from Wausau to stay on for the year, and one from Stevens Point. So I went home and was talking with my family about which job I should end up taking. And my family and me discussed that I should probably work in Wausau because I had volunteered there. I'm originally from there. My family works there. I was very comfortable. So me and my family all decided that I was going to go work in Wausau. Well, the night before, I was going to call Stevens Point and tell them, thanks but no thanks, I'm going to go work in Wausau. I went to bed and I had this dream. And I don't know the exact details of the dream. I can't remember exactly what happened, but it was this inescapable, undescribable feeling that I had to go to Stevens Point. I didn't know why, but I just had to go. So I was going to tell my mom that I changed my mind and I have to go work in Stevens Point. Well, I came out of my bedroom, which is in the basement of my house, and I walked upstairs and my mom came out of her room at the exact same time and she just looked at me and she said you have to go work in Stevens Point. And I said why? And she said well I had this dream last night that you have to go work in Stevens Point. And I said really I had the exact same dream. I said yeah you, you have to go. So I called them up and said yeah I will come I will come work for you. So what happens? Well the first day I start my job I'm having my initial training and things and oh well, guess who walks in but a uh, hijabi girl and first time I saw her I had this kind of feeling that I had known her or that something very comfortable and it was a really strange feeling because she wasn't even supposed to be there or anything. Well I ended up working with her and ended up talking to her and just asking her questions about Islam and ended up then going to her house and learning with her mom for about five or six months before I ended up converting. And I really feel like the reason I had that dream or that indescribable feeling, my mom also had that same indescribable feeling, was for God to send me to Stevens Point so that I could convert to Islam. And there's this uh, singer-poet from Canada, his name is Dawood Ornsby, and he has some great songs and things like this about Islam. And there's one that really hit home for me, um, and I'll just go through it and talk about how it affected me. The song is talking about an ayah from the Quran where Allah says that when you see the ground and it's dry and cracked and he sends rain down, down to it, it can flourish again and grows. And he says that anybody who is intelligent can see that this, this is from God and, and, and things like this. And his song starts off, 
The earth is hard, soil is cracked, bleached and blistered, trees bend, withered and weary, ground gasps, dusty and dry. Allah hears and the rain comes, wetting and washing the world, flushing and flooding the clay, spilling and splashing, life returns, Allahu Akbar. And then he says, we are the cracked earth, the thirsty, dirty spirit of man. If we gasp, we will be heard. Forgiveness falls like rain on our hands. Allah hears and the rain comes, wetting and washing the world, flushing and flooding the clay, spilling and splashing, life returns, Allahu Akbar. And I felt like, me, I was the thirsty, dirty spirit of man. I was looking for something to believe in, looking for a religion, something I could really grasp onto. And I really believe that Allah heard my call and he answered me and sent me on the right path. And that's how I ended up converting to Islam. Thank you. Islam alaikum.